A great corrective exercise to improve your score on the rotary stability is a bird dog. So to do a bird dog, you get on all fours and you alternate the straighten your knee or your leg and your arm. So every time you go, let's hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Nice, slow and controlled, trying to keep that good level back position. Make sure you get all the way straight because on that rotary stability test, to get a three, you have to get a full extension of both the leg and the arm. So again, three second hold, alternating diagonals. So you're going opposite arm, opposite leg, symmetrically at the same time and holding for time. Okay, to improve your rotary stability score, another good way is to kind of break down the rotary stability test. So, get in your rotary stability test position, hands under uh, shoulders, knees under hips. Practice your shift over, keep one hand up, and then you're just gonna bring the leg up only. So just getting that balance. Full extension position, and then you can also do the arm only position. So again, keep this uh, right leg up, and arm only. And that allows you to just kind of improve that balance for the test. So you're breaking it up into the two components. Okay, the last corrective exercise for the rotary stability test is to actually practice the rotary stability test. So you want to go position his hands under shoulders, knees under hips, feet down, shift over, ankle straight ankle and then down. So your ankle out, ankle down, and you have to have the arm and the leg going at the same time in order to get that three, three, three score. A two score can be achieved if you can just complete the motion, even if they're not symmetrical, and even if you kind of have to shift a little bit, you just can't touch down.